New patch, new Guardian Guide. Let's start. Guardian's core gameplay involves building and spending Rage. Rage is built through your rotational abilities like Mangle and Thrash, more on that later. There are three ways to spend Rage. First, Mitigation. You spend it on Iron Fur to buff your armor against physical damage. Iron Fur is stackable and is off the GCD. Maintain in all pools. Second, spend it on healing via Frenzied Regeneration, a heal over time. Unfortunately, this is on the GCD. Thirdly, you can spend it on damage. Spend Rage on Maul or Raze as offensive abilities. Use when no mitigation or healing is needed. Maul for single target, Raze for two targets or more. FYI, Raze is a commonly picked talent. Make sure to track Rage and Iron First stacks and duration via your UI. You can get mine free in the description. For core rotations, let's focus on abilities with less than 45 second cooldown. Single target and multi-target rotations are the same. Firstly, shift into bear form. Apply Moonfire debuff and the Thrash debuff. Use Mangle when available to build Rage. Spend Rage wisely on Iron Fur for mitigation. Frenzied Regen for a heal. Or use Maul or Raze for more damage. Never ever kept your rage, fill all empty GCDs with swipe as a filler. There's two exceptions to the priority above. If you have a Galactic Guardian proc that buffs your next Moonfire, cast Moonfire manually to consume the proc. If you're talented for Tooth and Claw, consume the proc with Maul or Raze to deal additional damage. There's a side benefit of making the mob deal less incoming damage. Let's talk big cooldowns. Prioritize Incarnation when facing a big pool. It buffs your health pool but also lets you stack more Iron Fur and increases your damage. If paired with the talent Ursox Guidance, you can reduce Incarnation's cooldown based on the amount of rage spent, and so you can use it every few minutes if planned right. Next is Rage of the Sleeper. This talent reduces damage taken by 25% while boosting your damage output and granting leech. Its offensive and defensive benefits makes it a priority use over purely defensive cooldowns. You will use defensive-only cooldowns when the above are unavailable, the first of which is Buckskin. It grants 20% damage reduction on a short cooldown used liberally. Survival Instincts is your biggest defensive, 50% damage reduction for 6 seconds on a long cooldown. If you take the Improved Survival Instinct talent, you have an additional charge of this cooldown. Lastly, some builds do pick Heart of the Wild talent, purely offensive cooldown. It boosts your physical and moonfire damage on a long CD. Rule of thumb, bears are crazy strong against tanking physical damage with Iron Fur, but weak against magic and dots like bleeds. Make sure to cycle Survival Instincts, Bark Skin, and Rage of the Sleepers against this. When it comes to gearing, the first thing to look for is eye level. It gives you a larger health pool and increases your dodge chance and armor gain from Iron Fur. The most important secondary, versatility. It enhances your damage output, self-healing, and absorbs. It also grants a 1% damage reduction for every 2% of verse against all types of damage, magic, bleeds, environmental, physical. This is important given a guardian's weakness to magic damage. Next most important is haste. It speeds up your attack, reduces your GCDs. All these increase your damage output but also increases rage output and hence tankiness. Next you have mastery. Due to the nature's guardian mastery passive, it increases your max health, healing output, and attack power. Crit is the least important secondary. It grants you dodge and more crit damage but beyond that, it lacks meaningful defensive interactions, the least useful of all. Let's talk about talents. All built-in pot codes are in the description. Starting with the raid build, this is pretty standard for Garden Druids. Notice the pickup of all these arcane and moonfire damage talents. This is really to help you maximize damage in raids. Also in raids, there might be that one moment of the fight where you need the burst damage or additional throughput. This is where Heart of the Wild or the class side of the tree comes in handy. But if I swap to the M plus build here, you'll see some very obvious changes and let me talk about them. So for M plus talents, the one that I see by default is the one that doesn't pick up Galactic Guardian for all those moonfire increased damage. Instead, you prioritize Ursox Fury that gives gives you a shield whenever you thrash or maul. Also very important in M+, is picking up things like Thorn of Iron, where you do damage to the enemies near you whenever you iron fur. And given you're always tanking mobs, this is actually pretty handy in M+. You also pick up a bit more utility on the class side of things, uh, picking up Typhoon over here, as well as his respective improvement talent. You will also notice the pickup of Raze and M+, essentially a rage dump that is great for AoE. And those are the main differences between the two builds. That's for talents, a reminder if you like the UI in the video, it's free in the description. If you found this guide helpful, smash the subscribe button, more concise guides coming your way. A shout out to my Patreon subs, see you soon.